Hello and welcome back to another Unity 3D tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be covering some basic scripting and how to make objects and create objects into your scene. So to start off I'm going to show you how you make a new script. So for this tutorial I'm going to be using a JavaScript. So you go to create JavaScript and as you can see it's popped up here on the right. So um, let's edit this script and it comes up with this. Um, so what we're going to do is, this may look a little daunting at first, but we're at first we're going to define two variables. So to do that we're going to take var, type var, which means we're defining a variable. Then we're going to call the first variable, let's just call it bullet, because this is what we're going to be shooting and this means we're going to make it a, of type transform and it'll turn blue well, it, it's, it looks different on Max, but it's the, it's a, you're still typing the same thing okay so there's one variable defined now we're going to make another variable called var spawner that's also going to be transform there we go. now um, in the function update which comes when you open the uh, uh, script. This this function happens every frame. Well, a hundred times per frame or something. It's a crazy amount. Um, and it's really useful for putting in stuff to make everything run smoothly. And so right now we're just going to put an if statement. And an if statement. Oh, wrong brackets. An if statement. What this statement is doing is, in these brackets, we're going to be telling it what we want it to check, and then in these brackets, we're saying, if that's true, then do this. So we're going to check if input dot get button down. Now this means um if this button is pressed, but we have to define what button is pressed. So, by default, fire1 is the left mouse button. So we're going to use that. So if fire1 is pressed down, do this. So, what we're going to do is instantiate, which is quite a long word, which just means like create. Um, now we have to instantiate yeah, first we have to say what we want to instantiate. So we want to instantiate the bullet. Now, wait. There, this is a. Oh. Yeah, so we want to do the bullet and we want to spawn it at. Guess what? Spawner dot position. These are the variables. And position will turn blue. Or a different colour. Um, and then quaternion dot identity which basically means like the uh, rotation and you yeah, re oh. and remember to get the um capitals all right now this should work let's save it and see if we have any errors doesn't look like it okay so we're actually going to rename this script to make stuff we can also attach this to other things if we want them to make stuff, but we need to change the if statement. So, let's to make this happen, we need to make two more items. One of them, we need to make a cube. This is going to be the bullet about like what what it's going to shoot. So now we need to make a new prefab. Call it, just call it bullet. And then drag this cube onto the bullet. Now you can see it's in here. Um, now that that's done, we can delete this from the scene. But it's still saved here. And you can change the settings here. Um, and then we also need a spawner. So game object, create other, create another cube. Bring it towards um, your person, and just place it where you want the cubes to spawn when you're playing. And then we need to make this a child of the main camera. So now when we play our game, 
the cube always follows the main camera wherever it's looking. So if you can see what I'm doing up here. Looking around, you see? So that's really useful. Now, we don't want to be playing with a massive square in the middle of our screen. So we're going to turn off the mesh renderer, which makes it disappear. And you also want to turn off cast shadows and return shadows. We also want to right click on box collider and remove it. Otherwise it will put some glitches into our game and will ba basically be a solid object. Um, an invisible solid object. So with that done, so you can see there it is, um, we can now add the script to our player, first person controller. Now here it is down here and these are the two variables we defined earlier. Now for the bullet we're going to drag on bullet and for the spawner we're going to drag on the cube. I'm actually going to rename that cube to spawner quickly. Okay, it doesn't matter, but I just like to keep it organized. Okay, so check it's still there. Yep, still there. Now let's test it. So when we play, if we click, it should, yeah, there you go, make a box in midair. And now you can make boxes, jump on top of them. It's a bit like Minecraft. Amazing game if you haven't checked that out. And yeah, we've already got ourselves a little game going on here. Try and get as high as you can. And, oh no, I fell off. <laughs> but there you go. Now, as you can see, whenever we place a box, a box, it appears up here in the hierarchy. Oh yeah, the difference between a hierarchy and a project. Hierarchy is everything in your scene at the moment, and the project is everything in your kind of library of stuff. And um, yeah, so every time you make a bullet places it up here. Um, we don't want that because it could clog up. If we place lows it will clog up everything. So we don't want that. So Unity comes with a script which we're going to search for called Timed Object Destructor. So click on that then delete that and it will tell you where it is. Now we want to go back to the bullet, click on the bullet and drag the Timed Object Destructor onto it. Now this is a very useful script that they've already made with variables and um, basically what it does is um, you can s define the amount of time you want it to live for. So let's say five seconds. Now when I play, and I place a block, box, I can watch it and after five seconds it should, there you go, disappear. So now if you watch the hierarchy see bullets will start disappearing as I place. And this is very useful so things don't stay for ages. Obviously you can keep it forever. It might clog up. Just makes it a bit cleaner. Oh, I fell off again. <laughs> so there you go. I hope this um, concludes a quick scripting tutorial. And for more information, check out other tutorials on YouTube. Um, I'm not a master at scripting, but I guess other people will be a lot better. So don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and see you next time.